Hello, this is Anastasia Boers. I want to welcome you to this Pilates workout. Today we'll focus on a little bit more of an advanced Pilates flow and um, we'll combine some of the really fun exercises that are usually done on the reformer and we'll take them to the mat and also kind of have fun with it. Okay, so we're going to get started on our stomach. So go ahead and lower yourself all the way down. Find a nice comfortable spot here. Reach long through your toes. Place your hands under your shoulders. On the inhale, lift up. Open up your chest. Keep your car bones nice and wide. On the exhale, lower yourself down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, you're coming down. Think about bringing your ribs a little bit closer together by engaging your abdominals. Inhale, grow tall. Now stay here, press your palms into the floor. Think about pulling your elbows back, like your hands are stuck in the mud and you're trying to pull them out. Feel your upper back engaging on this one. Lower yourself down. Again, inhale up, pull yourself back and up. Now we're going to start lifting a little bit higher. Lift up, straight up, up, up. And down. You can bring your fingertips a little bit further forward. On the inhale, come up. You don't have to straighten up your arms all the way. Just find a comfortable position. We're just warming up, finding some extensions in the back. Inhale, lift. Keep your neck long. Keep rounding through. Your upper back, keep your lower back in neutral. One more time, inhale up, look to one side, look to the other side, calm down. One more time, lift up, look to one side, trying to see your heel, look to the other side, calm down. Two more, inhale up, look one side, the other, down. One last time and lift. One, two, and down. Go ahead and pull back. Reach, relax your arms a little bit, rest. And bring yourself back forward. We're going back down. This time we're going to engage our lower body. So from here, lift your legs up and lower. Lift and lower. Lift. And four, three, two, and one. Good. Come back up onto your elbows. Kind of like a sphinx pose here. Bend one knee. Whichever one you want to start with. You're going to take the opposite hand and try to reach it. If it's just not comfortable for you, if you can't reach it, just keep your hand where it was and just then you bend. If you can reach all the way, go ahead and hold on to your ankle. Try to lift up, finding this nice bow pose in your body. Keep your neck long. Now try to reach the opposite arm and leg out and lift up and lower. Inhale, lift and lower. Now, if you can't do this, just go ahead and lift the opposite arm and leg while keeping the other arm down. So four, three, keep pulling yourself back actively. Two, one, lower, release. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Find your sphinx, open up your chest, bend the other knee. Try to reach the ankle, pull back. Your abs are engaged. Go ahead and reach the arm forward. Find this nice length through your body. Keep pulling yourself back and now lift and down. And six more. Six, five, four, three. Pulling yourself back with your leg. Two. 
and one. Good, lower yourself down all the way. We're going to turn all the way around and we're going to go for our hundred. So go ahead and roll all the way down with control. Arms go down by your sides. Bring your knees into your chest. Arms go up, left, find your hundred. Heels together, toes apart, start pumping in two, three, four, five, and up two, three, four, five. Now you can add a little heel claps, heel beats. Keep pumping, keep your legs strong, glutes are engaged, keep your arms strong, opening up, curling up a little bit higher. Two more cycles, two more breaths, one more, good, bring your legs down, arms go over your head, let's go for a roll up, reach forward, bring yourself up, bring your hands in front of you, roll down, rolling, open up your arms, bring them back, pull your shoulders back, and reach forward. Sit up nice and tall on the exhale, roll back, bring the knuckles in front of you, open up to the sides, bring the shoulders all the way back without moving your torso, pull back and reach forward. Now if your shoulders are not that flexible, open back, you can always reach back and just keep your arms there as you're coming forward. Two more, go back. Knuckles together, open up, clasp your fingers if you can, go back, forward, last time, knuckles together, open up, back, and forward, reach forward for a little stretch, and come back up for rowing, flat back, arms go in front of you, go back, reach your arms nice and long. Bring them through the side, same thing, try to bring them back together and forward. And again, arms forward, this time we're keeping your back completely straight, no rounding. Arms go back, through the sides, pull back and forward. Three more. 90 degree angles, lift up, through the sides. And forward, two more. Go back. Through the sides, pull back. Forward. And one last time. Oops. Go back. Arms up. Through the sides, strong core. And forward. Come all the way down. Bring your legs up into tabletop and then try to straighten that up more. Wiggle your ankles. Move your legs from the hips like a little clamp to get prepared to open up your hips here. Now from this position, we're going to go into jackknife. Not a full one, but to get started, you're going to try to lift your hips off the floor just a little bit. If that's all you can, do, that's fine, just stay here. If you want to go higher, make sure that you don't turn your head. So watch it first. Then come up and come back down. Come up and come back down. Press your arms strongly into the floor. Keep your upper back engaged. And let's go. Find the variation that works for you today. I have two more here. And last one. And then bring your knees down. A little rest. Now come back up and we're going to go for a modified corkscrew. Just go side and you can open up your arms to the side. Side. And side. Starting with a hip twist. Separating your hip from the floor, 
And now let's go for the actual circle. Go down through the side and back together. Keep your feet glued together. Don't let them slide one on top of the other. Shoulders stay on the floor. Down. And down. Last one. Good. Bring your legs down. We're going for the side for the side kick series. Reach your arm long. You can go all the way down or lift up. Whichever one feels better to you. The top leg lifts up. Reach your hip away from your rib cage. Make yourself nice and long. Flex the foot. The bottom one can be a little bit bent. You're going to kick the leg forward twice and push back. Twice and back. Try to keep your body from rocking. That's the point of this exercise. We're working your leg, but at the same time, we're using the core to control the rest of the body. Two. One. Stay here. Find a position where you can keep your legs straight, and we're going straight up and straight down. Up and down. And four. Imagine like you're trying to touch the ceiling at the top, but don't drop the hips back. Stay stacked. One more. And bring it down. And from here, lift. And down, keep your knee pointing straight up towards the ceiling. Lift. Think of like pushing something very heavy away from you. Like a 10 pound um, weight that's on your ankle. You're trying to push it up. One more. We're going for full circles, ground ground jambe. So from here, we're going to bring the leg forward, up, and down. Bring it forward, up, and down. Two more, this direction. Last one. And reverse. Let your knee point straight up towards the ceiling as you're going up, lower down one last time. And good. From here, bring the ankle behind you and give your hip flexors a little stretch here. You can come up onto your elbow, push the leg back, push the hip forward. Quads and hip flexors are getting a stretch here. We're going to turn around to the other side. So switch the position. Adjust yourself first, find your comfortable spot here. Your top hip is away from the ribs, you're keeping this length equal. Bring the leg up, flex the foot, the bottom leg can stay slightly bent. Go ahead and kick it forward twice, and then pull back. Kick, and six, five, exhale on the kick, four, three, Two, stay here, we're going up, find your straight leg, stepped hips, and down, up, and down. And four, three, two, one, good, bring it back. Knee stays, looks at the ceiling, go up and down. Focus on the way up and go down against the resistance. Four up against the resistance and down. Three, two, one. Good, run around the arm, so you're going forward. Knees facing up and down. Go forward, external rotation, come up and down. Parallel with the floor, external rotation, and down two more. And five in the opposite direction, reverse. Down, knees facing up, parallel with the floor. And up, and down, and two. Last one. 
and good. Bend the knee, hold on to the ankle, come up onto your elbow, pull back, open up your chest, open up your hip. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to get started on all fours, and I'm going to work on the snake and twist variations, and then I'm going to add a little bit of flow with some lunges in Russian splits. So go ahead and get started on all fours, knees under your hips. Hands under your shoulders, walk your feet back. Find your beautiful front support. Arms are strong, pushing the floor away. Neck is long, your heels are reaching back towards the back wall. Lift your right leg up, bring it into your chest. Go back, finding your arabesque. If you need, you can move your hands slightly forward, try to drop the bottom heel down. From here, lower yourself down. The top leg wraps around the bottom leg. The right hand steps forward, and you're coming into your snake, and then a twist, and then we're going back. And step your hand forward. So one more time, nice and slow. Now your left leg comes up. Bring it into your nose. Reach back into your arabesque. Hook your leg over the ankle of the bottom one. The same hand that's on the floor, the same leg that's on top, the same arm makes a step forward. You're twisting on your toes, dropping the hip, look forward, and then look back onto your heels. Bring yourself back. Hand steps back and feet. Feet go into parallel position. Again, right knee to nose. Lift up. Hook the right foot over your left one. Right hand steps forward. Drop the knee down. Look forward. Open up your chest. Look back for the twist. Come back. Hand steps back. Feet go back into parallel. Left knee comes in. Reach back. Hook it over the ankle. Left foot step. The left hand steps forward. Go down. Look forward. Look back. And step everything back. Little rest, then we're going to add a little bit more to it. So find your plank. Step back, the right leg lifts up. Bring the knee into your chest. Reach back for your arabesque. Hook your right foot over the left ankle. Right hand steps forward, drop the hip, look forward, open up the chest. Look back, left hand goes up, and windmill goes down, reaches towards your toes. Lift your hip up, finding a beautiful rainbow in your body. Come back, find your side support. Bring yourself back. The right foot steps forward. Arms come up for your lunge. We're going four times. Four. Up and down. Three. Two. One. Stay here. Try to drop the back knee. Lower yourself down for a deep stretch. Bend the knee back. And the foot moves back into a front support variation. The left leg lifts up. Bring the knee into your chest. Arabesque by going up. Hook the left foot over the right ankle. Left hand steps forward. Drop yourself down. Open up your chest. Move back. Right arm through the windmill goes forward. Reaches towards your toes. Lift up, creating a big arc through the side of your body. Find your side support. Bring yourself back. Left foot is lifted up. Bring it forward for a lunge. Arms open up. Lift. Focus on keeping your hips square instead of dropping to the side. Two. One more. Stay up. If you need, you can bring your feet a little bit closer. Go down. 
for a deep stretch. Your left foot lifts up and goes back. We're gonna have one more set on each side. So lift the leg up, the right knee comes in. Arabesque. Put the, knee, the foot over ankle, right knee steps forward, open up, drop the hip, windmill the arm, rain both on the body. Find your side support, straight line, go back, right foot steps forward, arms open up, lunge, four, three, two, one, straighten up the front leg, go down, try to lower the back, heel down if possible, plant your hands back, Reach the leg forward, the leg back. We're gonna add a push up, single push up, and up, and lower the knee, the foot down. Now same on the left side. Bring the leg up, left knee into your chest, lift up, put the left knee over your right ankle, left hand steps forward, open up for a snake. Twist, windmill the arm. Lift, nice arc through the body, lifting up towards the ceiling. Star, bring yourself back center. Left foot steps forward. Arms open up, lunge. Four, three, two, keep looking in front of you. One, stay up, try to drop the back. Heel down, reach forward, plant the hands down, bring the leg back, lower yourself down, press up, foot down, and rest. For the, our last variation, we're going to add a full sequence and we're going to finish standing tall. So from this position, we're going to get starting our front support. Walk back. Last flow. Right leg comes up. Knee into the chest. Lift up for your arabesque. Right knee, right foot hooks over your left ankle. Right hand steps forward. Open up your chest. Drop down. Windmill the arm. Big rainbow through the body. Star, bring yourself back down, right foot from here, steps forward, big step, arms open up like an airplane, lift, keep those hips square, three, two, one, straight left, go down, feel your hamstring stretch, if you need to bend the knee, Bring that right leg back, keeping it straight. Bring yourself down. Come up. Keep the leg up, 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 up. Find your balance. Arms forward. Bring yourself all the way up. Roll down with control. Walk all the way out. Left side, left foot lifts up, left knee in. Bring it back. Look over the right ankle. Left hand steps forward, open up the chest. Twist, look at your feet. Windmill the arm. Lift. Big rainbow through the body. Start creating a straight line. Bring your feet, your hands back. Your left foot steps forward. Arms open up in the airplane and lift. And three. And two. One more. Sit down. Lift. Go down for your split. Inhale. 
Anchor your hands. Push your leg back. Push up. Bring yourself back up. Walk yourself back. Find your balance. Straight line through the body. And lift all the way up. And go down. And this completes our workout for today. Thank you for working out with me.